What's up guys? My name is uh, Tai Zen. Um, welcome to the cryptocurrency.market channel. We are a trading, investing, and entrepreneurship channel, long-term wealth. Um, we are not a news channel, we're not a tech channel, we're not a blockchain political drama channel. So just want to make that clear so that you guys um, uh, will know if you're at the right channel or not. So if you've been following me guys, you guys know that I'm in the process of selling my house, my personal property, my cars, everything, and uh, relocate back to uh, Southeast Asia, to uh, Vietnam, to take care of my sick mom over there, okay? Um, I sold my, uh, two th my wife's 2018 uh, Toyota Camry already to uh, one of my followers. And then um, <clears throat> I have a, um, a uh, this Toyota, 2009 Toyota Sienna that's got 95,000 miles on it. It's a family van. Um, selling this one for 6,000. <clears> excuse me. In Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies also. Uh, any cryptocurrency that trades over a million dollars a day, uh, I'll take it for this van. So if you have some cryptocurrencies you want to get rid of and you want a uh, extra family van let me know contact me privately okay so in this video guys I want to share with you guys some lessons that I learned while I'm trying to sell everything uh, one is that uh, on that that's gonna help you uh, create long-term wealth okay we try to sell some of a lot of our personal properties and and, uh, and household items on Craigslist but it does not go very well because there's so many uh, uh, scammers on there trying to contact us, telling us that you know they got, they'll send us the cashier's check first, hold the item for them. So be be careful about that scam, guys. Right? Hey, notice all the highways that I'm driving underneath right here, right now, guys. All these uh, flyovers and the spaghetti junction that's around me. This is one of the things that makes uh, Dallas so phenomenal. Uh, uh, in, in the United States of America. Um, we have the best, the absolute best highway infrastructure um, out of any state uh, in America, in my opinion. And I've lived and worked in pretty much every state in America and none of them have the highway and the road infrastructure that the cities in the state of Dallas has. So if you don't like to sit in traffic, right, make sure that you guys check out Texas, okay? Um, so as I'm selling everything uh, in my uh, uh, house, guys, um, we, my wife discovered that instead of selling on Craigslist, we can sell it on um, uh, Facebook Marketplace. And most of the household items I have that I need to sell, pots, pans, dishes, uh, beds, mattresses, chairs, things like that, they typically get sold within like one or two days. You know, especially the items that are like five, 10, 20 bucks. You can sell it so quick um, on there, okay? Um, and so far, we have sold about $4,000 worth of knickknacks, junk, and doodads, and other household items out of our house. And I wanted to make this video with you guys to share with you guys that that's a lot of freaking bullshit junk that's in my house, right? And I invite you guys to, even if you are not moving or relocating, I consider you. I, I invite you guys to consider looking at all the junk in your house and sell as much of it as you can just to get rid of it. Okay. And here's the reason why, guys. <clears throat> if you guys come over to my house, it's completely empty. Okay. It was empty before the uh, I started selling everything to relocate the house to relocate my family, and there's even more that <clears throat> that uh, that. Uh, that I'm going to do to 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 uh, um, to get rid of it, okay? And the reason why that you want as very little stuff and very little material junk in your house and stuff that you don't need every day is because it clears your mind <laughs> to focus on what's important in your wealth creation journey, okay? The more junk and the more doodads and the more bullshit that you have around the house, right? Every time you walk into the house you get distracted by these different things. For example, you put a picture on the wall or something like that, and you think, oh, um, it's a picture of me and my buddies back in high school, 
you know, it's something worth me remembering or it's a soccer game that, you know, I had when I was in college or something. And what, what's common is that people will look at that and go, oh, that's a good thing. But the reality is that's not a good thing because that's a, a distraction. My mother-in-law brought over to my house four uh, vases from Thailand. And it was a complete distraction because we're constantly worried about if we're breaking the vase, if the kids accidentally touch it, where do we put it, you know, we got to find a place for it. It's a complete distraction and a waste of time. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds of books in my house. And what I found out was that most of these books have been sitting there and I, have, I haven't read them in probably a decade, okay? I got rid of those too, right? <coughs> because that's just more distractions. The more you would think that the, 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 the mainstream media, the marketing companies, the interior design companies, you know, uh, you know, and all the vendors out there, what they want you to do is they want you to buy junk and material bullshit and fill up your house, okay? So that it makes it personalized, your house is customized, your house is personalized. And what I find is that it's actually the opposite. Like, if you want to, to create long-term wealth and want to make more money in your life, right? Uh, one is that you can sell all that junk that you have in your house I mean, I just sold $4,000 worth of bullshit out of my house, right? That $4,000 can go buy, you know, a, a, a almost one Bitcoin, or it can buy me, you know, thousands of Dogecoin. It, it can buy me a bunch of Decred tokens, a bunch of NEO tokens, uh, and a bunch of other, a bunch of Ether tokens. And I can sit there and hold on to it and wait for it to go up in value and create wealth for myself instead of letting me you know, those textbooks that I have, the uh, um, investment books, the trading books and stuff that are that I don't read no more, right? Either because I already know it now or because I don't need it. For whatever reason, I need to just sell it because if it's sitting there, it's just a distraction. It takes up space. It, taking up space inside the house is not a big deal. Taking up space inside your mind so that it distracts you from doing the things that you need to do to create long-term wealth now that is a big deal, okay? So be very careful about that, guys. Um, I invite you guys to consider looking at the stuff that's around your house and just get rid of it, let it go. And it's not going to be easy to let some of those items go, okay? It's not gonna be easy to let some of those items go because some of them may have some, some uh, sentimental value some of them may have some emotional value. Some of them may have some, like the first uh, a trading and investing book I ever read, right? To get me into trading and investing, um, the, like the, the Rich Dad Poor Dad book that turned my life around, that helped me make me realize that I need to learn to, uh, about financial uh, stuff in order to make money. If I want to learn how to make money, I need to, to learn about money and things like that. It's hard for me to let go of that because I want to share that, you know, when I, um, I want to frame that up someday and put it on the wall and, and, and have it as a reminder and share it with everyone that comes over to my house. So things like that that are, are very sentimental value, it may be a little difficult to let go, okay? But everything else, I consider, I invite you guys to consider letting it go so that you guys don't uh, mess with it, okay? And don't, don't, uh, <clears throat> don't screw around with it and 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 and, um, and and mess with it okay so um, the other thing that um, I want you guys to consider right there's a weight off your shoulders when you do it there's a massive amount of weight that comes off your shoulder when you don't have to uh, think about those things anymore when you come inside your house it's, it's very refreshing to come inside your house and there's no distractions, there's no doodads, there's no material junk to distract you. When I come into my house, I have my laptop set up or my computer set up to do some work or to relax or there's a couch there for me to sit on and that is it, okay? That is it. I do not need any more garbage than that, okay? 
Um, so I hope that this video helps you guys in some way learn <coughs> <coughs> two things. One is how to go and get rid of the junk that's in your house. <coughs> Take that money and go put it into the markets. Go, go get you some Bitcoin, some Ethers, some Dogecoin, some Neo, some Decred, some Pivot, something. I don't care what you guys get, but go get something, okay? So I came into the wrong entrance here, into this place. All right, guys, if you guys like these types of videos, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at HeyTaiZen. And um, if you're a trader, investor, and you're serious about trading and cryptocurrency trading and investing, then go check out our cryptocurrency investing blueprint at www.cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.